home isn't always the place you live. Sometimes it's the place you love. That's how Josh Spidell feels about Memorial Gymnasium in Columbus, Indiana. This was uh, Josh's home for four years. Growing up, Josh was as much a fixture here as the hoops in the grandstands. But no one could have guessed how long the road would be to get back here. As a standout forward at Columbus North High School, the six foot seven Spidell was one of the top basketball players in the state. I think it was eighth grade I got my first Division I offer. Josh got offers from just about everywhere and then surprised just about everyone when he accepted a scholarship from the mid-major University of Vermont. You know, he just uh, felt at home, I guess, and, and uh, saw his, uh, his role and his potential, and, and um, yeah, we were really fortunate to get him. But on February 1st, 2015, in the middle of a senior year in high school, everything changed. One night after scoring 33 points with 18 rebounds, the phone rang at his parents' house. And they said, um, we need you to get to the emergency room. We need you to get here as soon as possible. Josh had been in a terrible accident. He mistakenly pulled out of a fast food restaurant when a sport utility vehicle slammed into his Honda Accord. No one else was seriously hurt, but Josh had a traumatic brain injury. I remember walking into the emergency room bay and I remember people looking at me, like feeling sorry for us and shaking their head. Doctors weren't sure he'd survive, but he woke up after spending four weeks in a coma. And then for the longest time, I said, was always asked, is, it, is this a dream? He couldn't talk, walk, or use his left arm, but his recovery was not about perfection, it was about progression and every day he'd get a little better. And we celebrated the small things. Every I mean, little was, thing. He'd do something, I'd go, man, you couldn't do that yesterday. Through it all, the Vermont players and coaches stuck by Josh. And just eight months after the accident, he was strong enough to make it to a Vermont game when they played at Purdue. Josh! Getting back on the court became Josh Spidell's therapy, but it was not likely to happen. Until last March, when Coach Becker and Josh's teammates hatched a plan to get him into a game and the box score. I wanted to make sure that all the hard work um, paid off in some way. In Vermont, it's time for America East basketball. It would happen on senior night, so Coach Becker reached out to Coach Will Brown of Albany, their opponent, to see if he'd think about letting Josh get an uncontested layup. You know, I said, John, I said, I don't need to think about this. I said, you know, let's do it. A very special senior day here in Burlington. In sports, even great games are sometimes hard to remember, but few at Patrick Gymnasium will ever forget this night. Here in Burlington, and we're underway. Five years after his terrible setback, Josh Spidell made his comeback. Everybody gets a touch, and here's Josh Spidell. That night was unbelievable. In my 20 years at Albany, I've never been so excited for an opponent to score against us. For the world to see Josh make that layup, we hope that it was that reminder that no matter what life faces, surround yourself with people that love you, work hard, and know that God has a bigger plan.